What's up guys, real quick, I wanna let you guys know that we do have a few items still left on our website. The heavyweight hoodies, and of course, some shirts. We got the OG design shirts, we got that in hoodies too. So y'all, we really got good feedback on the material, I'm telling y'all, you not to be disappointed in these heavyweight hoodies and the shirts. So go check out what we have left on the website. We sold a whole bunch of stuff at Sand Wars. This video is leading up to Sand Wars, y'all. We built Beetlejuice. Uh, we did not have time to post the video before Sand Wars. We literally were still filming the night as we left, but we wanted to give y'all an update video, so this is kind of show y'all where we're at. And uh, this is up, this is building Beetlejuice up until Sand Wars, and we threw in some clips from at Sand Wars, guys. So I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. The bike turned out awesome. It did really well at Sand Wars. So uh, let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So we decided that we're not going to be running the black chassis at Sand Wars this year. So right now, what we're doing, we're stripping the entire bike down, and we're going to be taking some of the good components off of this bike, like the spring arm and the whole entire rear end. Oh, yeah. Dude. Jordan. I forgot how light this thing is. This is the nicest piece we've ever gotten in the mail though. Can't lie. What we thinking? Putting it on there or no? I don't know. I say we do it. All right. Can we get a scale? Boom, guys. Ooh. We got the bumper back right. Man, that yellow and purple. So it, it was worth redoing. If y'all didn't see the last video, we had to redo this bumper and uh, we had to do some more powder coating tonight. We just got, the Tyson swing arm came in, y'all. Look how freaking short this stock swing arm is. So stock arm bike, you can actually run aftermarket swing arms as long as it's still the stock length. How short does it actually look? Oh my gosh. Dude, it's been so long since we actually seen such a short like since we actually did a build with that shorter arm. Pretty much the front end is ready to go, guys. If you've been watching the whole series, this is part three. We got a lot of parts from our storage up there. These handlebars are actually bent. <laughs> like, they're like this. Turn, turn it straight? After, oh, that is straight. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't notice after I, after I powder coated it. We did order some, some new bars that are a little bit flatter and they're gonna lean forward. So still what we have left to do, I gotta put mount tires, whole drag axle needs to be assembled, and we have a whole bunch of lines to be ran for our air shifter that we don't know how we're gonna set up yet. <laughs> we haven't set up the two-step yet or the air shifter, and we see we have our headlights. So pretty much the entire rear end, throttle cable, clutch cable, and the whole air system set up. Still to do. So that is the update right now. Let's get the two-step open, see what it looks like, see if we can figure something out. And I'll tell you what, the two steps are gonna sound bad to the bone. Oh yeah. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, guys. We're almost ready to race. Dynatech two-step. There's only one? Hell no, there ain't only one. We got two bikes we're running. Boom. I told Jagger J. I said, Jagger J, you want two-step? He said, yeah, I want two-step. I was like, well, why, why are you going to get one? I'm not going to get one. Can the Jagger J have all the fun? RPM limit, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. So it goes from 6,000 to 12,000. Shit, we're turning up to 12,000, we're gonna send it. <laughs> Not only is it gonna help us in racing, hopefully, being consistent, but dude, it sounds so, I think it sounds so cool just to have one. We have these fire guys. I, if you have a Banshee, I really highly, highly recommend getting this MS, these MSD, I'm getting tired, these MSD caps. These things are awesome. We had a problem one time, this freaking, uh, cap came off while we were riding and it caused us to go lean or something with the cylinder. I don't know what happened. It, I think it broke the spark plug because of it. That's what happened. Something like that. But listen how it snaps on, listen to it. It literally snaps on and guys like, these caps are not going anywhere. That's what you really want. You really want a good connection. I mean, we don't want really losing power because we have a crappy connection up here. Same thing with the coil wires. We have that wired up real nice. That's a brand new coil. I'm glad we have uh, a little bit of time to spare because we ended up going with the uh, sad black on this 
And we wanted to do our Scooting Performance SP logo on here. And as you can see, it did come out nice. It's got the fluorescent yellow SP and then the satin on top. The only problem is, which I kind of figured it was gonna happen, if you really put your light up to it, look how, I hope you can see it. It's green underneath. Uh, another one of the moments where we're showing y'all our mess ups. It's not really a mess up. I mean, we're trying to trying it, figuring out. So what we're gonna do, we'll strip this. And uh, I like it better just going satin. So we're probably gonna do it black anyway. We could put the SP, but I think we're just gonna leave this bike, leave it satin. It's gonna look cool either way. Bike's looking awesome. Back in the gulag, man. I told Debo, I'm tired of redoing stuff. This is our last time. Even, this is my last time I hope even powder coated before Sand Wars. I'm, I'm kind of done. Strip tank is clutch. I mean, powder coat messes up. We'll get this paint about an hour and it'll be stripped off. But we'll rather mess up on our stuff than somebody else's. Yeah. That's why we always try these different things. I want to give you all a good example. This is before it goes in. So guys, about an hour in the strip tank, the swim arm is pretty much bare metal. And what you see on there is just rust. So sandblasting that rust pot comes right off. And now we're putting some sad black powder coat on it and it's gonna look branded. I have about 15 sprockets I can choose from. So we're probably gonna end up going with a 42 rear sprocket. These are all aluminum sprockets and they're all about a one tooth difference from um, about a 38 all the way up to have about a 44 tooth. I went with the 42. It's easier to gear the bike down than it is to go back up a uh, tooth on the back sprocket. So we went with the 42, kind of just guessing on the gear, but let's see how it works. Let's go. There we go. All the goods. <laughs> oh yeah, they got a race tech keychain. That's fire. Oh, that is so fire. So fire. Bro. Light. It's so light. Middle stick. Oh, the middle stick. That's the same grip, grip size. Oh. I'm riding it, just no grip, just like that. That's fire. Oh yeah, dog. You know we got them damn stickers on deck. Come on. Oh, they, they send a bunch of shirts. Yeah, that's fire. It goes on the back too. That's the back of it. Yeah, that's fire. This tire might hit this pipe. So I'm gonna tire outside the, outside the shop real quick. It's gonna be close. Yeah, we might, we might have to squeeze that hub in a little bit. Mm. <laughs> oh good. yeah, we're good. good. We're plenty good. Shit. Cause I, we had to dodge this. That's all good. So I got that other tire. We're gonna put it on the ground. It's ready. It's ready to start. Got the timing turned up. Gas lines ran, carburetors hooked up. Taking a pause from the build. Turn around, Jay. <laughs> Let them know. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. All Straight right. off the trailer, y'all. Brand new hoodies, brand new shirts. As you can see, this is just a few boxes. We got wait, other, wait, wait, all the wait, other wait, merch wait. inside. We got black. Look, time out, time out, time out. Bro, look at the oh, quality of the hoodie. These feel amazing. They yeah, really do. they really do. We do have some more shirts that we want to show y'all. But y'all, we actually came up with a name for the new stock wheelbase bike for Sand Wars. Let's put it on the ground first. We're gonna go off this way. Oh, dude, this bike is heavy. All right, right there. Let me see. Oh, that thing looks fine. All right, you ready? <laughs> you got to see it from this side. Come on this side. Really? No, what, with the SP? The see-through clutch cover, the, oh, the SP dude. on the side. All, all <laughs> black motor, black powder coat on the wheels. The whole motor satin. Fucking gangster, son. That bike's a gangster. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Yeah or no? <laughs> Dude, it looks like a gremlin. Yeah. Oh, All right. Man. man, Beetlejuice is going to be so fire out there. Oh, fuck no. 
Yeah! We called it Beetlejuice, bro. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Come on. Tell me Beetlejuice ain't fine. Go, go. Ride around like this. This had a huge hole in it. What? He couldn't get the wheels off. He probably sliced them trying to get them off. I'm filling it up. I'm like, why is the tire not getting filled up? And I'm hearing air, bro. I tell you. Uh, try to get the wheels off to get them powder coated, brought them to the tire shop, and they sliced the sand tires and didn't even tell us. Bro, that's the second tires they've sliced from us. <sighs> Had to go to handlebars from Race Tech. They actually freaking, dude, they, they're, like, they're like almost a straight bar. These things are like actually pretty straight. I guess that'll work. So here's the deal with the pop tire. One of those is popped. So we went and got some tin paddles, scooped them up from somebody. They're not in the best shape but that's all we can do right now. If we can't get those patched, y'all, the problem is the tire shop can't get the tires off the wheel. So we're gonna go out there with 10 paddles and then we're gonna go try the 13 paddles when we're out there. And uh, if we can't get those fixed. So I wanna give y'all an update on that. I don't wanna hear this isn't a Banshee because it's a Banshee frame. Dude, we hear that all if you're the time. Look, yes, <laughs> if you're looking at this, it's a Banshee. It's got Banshee stock A-arms, steering stem. Guys, remember, we went up and grabbed a bunch of extra parts from this build that we just had laying around to make this bike happen. I mean, stock spindles that are heavy, all the stock hubs, pretty much stock the front wheels. End, yeah, stock wheels, but it's got a little, it got a little spice, a little tail behind <laughs> it. It's gonna be a handful, guys, because we hadn't even, we were supposed to have this done like two weeks ago and go test on one of the weekends right before Sand Wars. Oh, dude. <laughs> we could have, we could have gotten it done, but kind of ordering parts. Parts aren't gonna come in in time either. Yeah, we, we do still have parts in the, in the mail, so. I kind of how to, that's kind of name of the game, how it goes. So we went with a race tech and the bar that are carbon fiber. The diameter of the bars start at a seven eighths right here on the grips and it actually gets thicker, I guess for more strip when you get down here by the, uh, where it actually connects to the steering stem. So we had these adapters that we ordered and uh, that actually fits a 1.25 uh, diameter right here where it actually connects. So we made that work. So I'm gonna be laying on the, kind of as much as I can on the handlebars. I'm 220 pounds. I like the bars, they look really good. But the front of the bike, big old tires in the front. Looks like a freaking gorilla. Beetlejuice, man. It's 7.30, trying to get the bike a little warm, but trying to run it too long. We had it off camera. We had the two set wired up. We had it set what, before the kill switch? Yeah, it needed to be on the ground side of the we kill just switch. Had it, we just had it on the opposite side of the kill switch. Couldn't figure it out. We tried a few different things. We did it off camera because we were kind of, we're trying, we're trying to rush y'all. But here we go, let's go. You ready, Jordan? Let's actually turn it up a little bit. I got to see features now, I heard. Let me turn it up to, we're gonna turn it up to 7,000. What was it on just now? Six, the lowest setting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really warmed up all the way either. Guys, we gotta see if she runs real quick. 
after this device is going straight to the trailer, we gotta go. Here is kind of how we have the kill switch set up. That yeah. should be so when it's in, when it's pushed in, it's on run. Should be. And these other ones are for the headlights and all that. Uh-oh. Come on now. Put that thing in the trailer. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, 421. 421's on action. About 12 a.m. We got the whole trailer loaded up. We're gonna be working the night shift. We got about a 16 hour drive, 14 to 16 hour drive with stops. So uh, we'll see y'all in Little Sahara. We didn't get the two step going on the 485. We'll have an extra two days of testing before actual race day. So let's get to it. We're gonna we're gonna work on the bikes a little bit there, and then uh, hopefully get some two-step action. Beetlejuice first test hit will be off the trailer in Little Sahara. Beetlejuice official first pass. We're gonna let it rip. Expectations are unknown. I don't have any expectations. I would like it to be fast. First hit from the dig. Let's roll. We're adding a little bit of weight to the arms and then we're taking a little bit of spring out. Make that baby slip a little bit more out the hole and then uh, get on down, boogie on out the 400. Dude, I'm down there, I'm chopping. Chop sounds good, dude. Hop on that two-step. 